Hi, I'm Theron Skurlock. I'm General Manager of Artagon Marketplace Orlando. Artagon's on North International Drive. We have created a space for 165 local artisans to come and make their goods and most importantly sell their goods to the Orlando community, either local or tourists. And now let's head inside to meet one of our artists and I'll introduce you to their work. Welcome to Gallery International. I'm Robin Van Arsdal and this is my gallery studio. Now you're in Gallery International but this is RV's pop shop. Come on, this isn't New York, this is Orlando, Florida. And I know Keith Haring and the pop shop in, in New York City. I literally own the Keith Haring pop shop sign which is in exhibitions in Germany. But this is RV's pop shop, follow me. Welcome to my world. Homages to East Cline. Airplanes and my son's graffiti. My Corvettes from the 90s as well as 2011. And all of the jet pieces that I did in Germany for my exhibitions at Stuttgart and also in Berlin. Shut up. You shut up. No, you shut up. My screaming men. You know how it is, if someone tells somebody to shut up, everybody has an opinion about what's being said. My tank. Tanks only do three things. They wait to fire, they move to fire, and they fire. How hard-headed can a man be sometimes? Uh, as hard-headed as a tank? I think so. And I love you. I love you. Do you know the difference between love and love? Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't know romance. It took me many years to learn that I love you is romance. Love is just how we boys are. And there's a difference. And I tell all the boys, pay attention to what you do because if you mess up, you're gonna suffer. What's the first thing, the first time you ever handed a flower to a woman? Uh, here, this is for you. I think we all said the same thing. Step back and take a look. And also my Pinocchio's right behind you. These Pinocchio pieces originated in 2004 when I was in Milan, Italy, and there was a Pinocchio display of Pinocchios in one of the, uh, at the square of, of the Duomo. And since there were so many puppets, when I came back, my first piece was this piece that's right up here. And I went to my studio in Berlin and I started the series of the Pinocchios. Now, I've painted them all the way up to 2010, 2011, all right? And this whole series of Pinocchios was done in Orlando, Florida in 2010 at my studios at Realm 54. Now, being a Christian, which I am, one of the things that I dislike the most in life is I wish everyone would tell the truth. I don't like the lie. And so for this concept of all of us to be just maybe a little more conscious of telling becoming the Pinocchio. Please don't lie. It's difficult. But I don't like Pinocchio, even though I love painting him. The last thing that I'm going to talk about today, all right, is I've been doing nuclear landscapes since 1990. Actually, since 1981. My Screaming Man came about in a nuclear landscape in 1990. But in 1981, I found out that my government had 11,000 nuclear warheads. 
and it disturbed me immensely to know that we could destroy the world three times and that we continue to deal with plutonium and make bombs of destruction. I have done over 10,000 pieces with nuclear landscapes when everyone dies, home burning. What were you, I did a whole series of, of graffiti pieces in the 80s in New York City entitled, What Will You Do When War Comes? The first thing that I'll do is I'll hide under a table because that's what I was taught to when I was in grade school. I'll also, I'll bury the dead. I refuse to walk by anyone who has died and not bury them. In spite of the fact that I'm also dying of poison, radioactive poisoning, I would still continue to bury everyone. And what's the last thing I would do? I would die. I would perish with everyone else. And what happens when I die and everyone else is dying and you still have more bombs? Then you get to kill the dead. My belief, my belief, my belief is that God wants us to love all people. And the thing that I hate most is to think that anyone would want to kill his brother. Thank you.